Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of BDD6. So in this video, I'm going to show you a detailed strategy and an insight on how to defeat the fourth map in this week's Odyssey flashback uh, without using Monkey Knowledge, Continues and Powers. So as you can see right here, Monkey Knowledge is disabled. Um, now, uh, the fourth map is going to be Bazaar. Now, this map is already pretty tough and uh, even if it's considered an intermediate map, I think it's a lot harder than most intermediate maps. Um, and in this case, we're going to need to survive until, uh, from round 3 until round 70, uh, medium difficulty, but with custom rounds. Now, these custom rounds are going to work like this. Every 5 rounds, so at the 5th round, the amount of balloons that are going to come out is going to be doubled. So that means that in round 5, round 10, round 15, 20, round 40, round 60, uh, the balloons are going to be doubled. All right, that's uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, and because of the fact that in this week's Odyssey, we can only equip primary or supporting towers, this map can be a little annoying. I had some problems with my, with my original crew um, and, uh, and therefore that's why I decided to uh, to upload this detailed strategy to help you guys so that you can also beat this map without using monkey knowledge continues and powers now you're gonna need to uh, have Quincy in your crew and also you're gonna need to have this specific setup so at least one village two spike factories one dark monkey two uh, boomerangs or three better three but if you have two it's also good and then one tag shooter. You're not gonna need the bombs, you're not gonna need the extra village or the extra tag shooter. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so these are the requisites so that you can also use this strategy. So uh, let's start. I'm gonna just place here this uh, boomerang, all right? Right uh, here, this should be pretty good. Uh, the positioning is going to be very important, so take your time and try to place the towers as I'm going to show you. So this boomerang closest to the bottom, 100 zero, zero, in first. And now look here at this chair, so at this table, right, let's just call it table. Uh, and you're just going to place the boomerang so that with the range you're almost covering and reaching the table, but not quite, alright? Uh, it's not very very important to have a millimetrical position but uh, the better you have this boomerang the better it is uh, so the important thing is really closest to the bottom and then not too close towards like the the right side or the left just try to follow this uh, advice then for round four uh, you're gonna set the boomerang to strong right and you're gonna place that monkey to cover this last uh, couple of turns so that the balloons can get, that can go past in round four can be popped by the boomerang then round five. Uh, this is the first round where there are double balloons. So you're gonna need to sell the that monkey. You're gonna need to replace it right here, strong, closest to the bottom again, and with the left of the range, just touching, uh, almost touching the roof. And uh, uh, leaving the boomerang is strong. Just get it at one one zero, and that's enough. And you can see here the double amount of balloons. Normally there are there aren't so many balloons, uh, but in this case. Because it's custom rounds, uh, you have this insane amount of blues. And it looks like some blues are almost able to get past, but the boomerang uh, motion uh, can just pop more. So it's very, very nice. And uh, just keep on having the boomerang strong. We're gonna just get it now uh, to 1 0. And, uh, um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. You don't really need to do much in this early game, other than placing these towers correctly. Now at the end of round 7, so when you can afford the boomerang to 2-0, that's when you want to switch the boomerang back to first. And that's uh, that's it. So that's the, those are the first rounds, that's the uh, one of the, I mean, that's the only way I was able to find with this crew, uh, so that I lose no lives. You can see I didn't lose any lives. And uh, yeah, I don't know if there are other ways, maybe with some a different crew, maybe building like three dot monkeys or something like that. But this is the this is the way I was able to find. I'm gonna place now attack shooter right here, right closest to the boomerang, and then closest to the bottom. 
you don't really need it to to pop this blue it's right 9 or round 10 because uh, the boomerang has already enough damage uh, but yeah I'm gonna actually place this stack shooter because I need to save the spot for it so that's the reasoning and in case it's gonna help to pop some balloons, it's always better. Again, uh, another round, round 10, is where you have double balloons. And then at the end, round 10, you can place Quincy. So you're gonna place Quincy halfway through the top and the bottom. So being able to cover the same amount of room in the top and in the bottom. So just try to look at it. I don't have any, any good reference to show you. So. You know, again, it's not exactly super important how you place Quincy, so don't worry too much. Alright, now next is placing this, uh, this uh, uh, second boomerang. Very important, once again, placing it closest to the bottom and then closest to the right side. There we go. In strong, so this boomerang, you want to have it in strong. And then just get it a 201. You should be able to get it 201 for round 15. The next key round is gonna be round 15 because it's gonna be the next round where the amount of balloons is gonna be uh, doubled. So here we go, 200 and then 201. You're gonna also need uh, a tower with lead popping power, and that's exactly what this boomerang is gonna be. It's gonna be a 302 and then 402 boomerang. So once again here you can see the uh, insane amount of balloons coming out in this round. Uh, you can also use Queen Silver 3 here just to make sure that you can pop especially the last pinks really. That can be a little annoying. And then just get the boomerang 202 and uh, that's, uh, that's it. And now until round 20 you can go uh, very fast because these rounds are gonna offer no no trouble whatsoever to these towers. Alright. And next round 20, once again the round where the amount of balloons is doubled. Just get this boomerang 302, and now you can see how well you can you can cope with uh, with the amount of balloons. The ricochet effect, uh, doing uh, uh, two layers of damage, is just uh, so good that you don't really need that much else. Uh, round 24, the camo balloon, uh, you can deal with it very easily just with Quincy. Quincy is a level five, so he can pop uh, camo balloons. And uh, uh, with this boomerang 302, you you can already pop also labyrinths. So around 28 and 30 are set up. Um, and yeah. Boomerang 230 now, more attack speed and doing more damage to my plasmas. And for round 4 is gonna be especially important getting a turbo charge. And uh, like getting this, these three towers right here. To up to fourth upgrades. So you're gonna need this boomerang 402, you're gonna need this tuck shooter 204, and this boomerang 240. You can see here round 28, very easy with this ricochet boomerang. And yeah, until round 37, you're not gonna need to use any abilities. Uh, so um, yeah, you can you can just relax here, just letting your towers to do their job. Remember always to keep this boomerang in strong, very very important. And then just get it 402 uh, whenever you have enough cash. It should be at the beginning, round 32. Once again, Queen C can manage all the camos, so um, you don't need to use his level 3. His basic, his basic attacks should be enough. Alright, so next I'm gonna get this uh, attack shooter 203 and 204 right away. Again, round 35, double balloons, but um, yeah, the 402 boomerang especially just uh, destroys them all so quick, so quickly and so efficiently. It's just, uh, it's just insane. 
All right, so ready here to get overdrive. Here we go. Uh, now round 37, very important. Remember that at the end of this round, there are some white camos. So you need to pop them uh, with Quincy and using his level three. It just doesn't, doesn't have enough uh, uh, damage to, to destroy them without his level three. So just uh, when they are about to get inside this range, just use it and, uh, um, and yeah, that's it. And then in round 39 is also very important to get turbo charge as fast as possible. So in that way the the ability is gonna the cooldown is gonna starting to to reduce so that you can use turbo charge for round 40. Not round 40 here, double moabs, right? But it's very easy. Just use turbo charge as soon as the moabs start coming upwards. And as you can see, you just destroy the ceramics like in a flash, so you cannot even see them. Next is placing a village right here, closest to the bottom and closest to the left. All right, right there. Uh, and getting camo detection, very important because uh, just Quincy uh, will not be able to handle all the amount of camos that will come out in the next round. So um, yeah, just getting this village first with camo detection, then two, uh, two zero, and then a uh, three to zero. Of course, I'm only using uh, primary towers as my main defenses, so there are only benefits in getting primary training. So I just recommend to get it as fast as possible. Again, round 45, the number of balloons here is doubled. But now, if you have these defenses, you should be you should be relaxed. Like until round 50, you don't really need to do much. Again, like until uh, some more moabs come out don't need to do much. What I recommend to do is uh, just this simple thing. So I uh, get one spec factory and place it back uh, here. So closest to the bottom and to the left and just get this spec factory one zero zero. Uh, the moabs, so the, the double round is going to be round 50. So that means that the balloons are going to be coming out from this bottom right side. And therefore just uh, prepare this spec factory in the path of those balloons round 50 so that um, in case, you know, some balloons can go past, you're gonna you're not going to only have the duck monkey, but you're going to have this spec factory. And so you can be more uh, relaxed. You're gonna still need to use uh, abilities because, uh, of course, um, you know, having double moabs and then double ceramics, and then again at the end of the round, double moabs can be a little, uh, a little hard. But, uh, but yeah, if you have this spec factory there, you can rest easy. So for the first two moabs, again, as they're coming up, just use turbo charge, and that should be it. Then with these towers, you should be able to pop most of these ceramics. Uh, and the few balloons that can get past, you can pop them with the that monkey and the spec factory. And then again, uh, these mobs just use uh, uh, Queen C level three. And depending exactly on RNG, you may have more or less balloons sneaking past. But as I said before, having um, the the spec factory there is really is a safety measure, so you don't need to worry much. And then you can afford this uh, um, tag zone for round 51. So. Now, tag zone. Of course, these buildings, you know, are gonna limit the damage from tag zone a lot, and this uh, spot as well is not the best. But uh, oh yeah, now you're gonna do a lot more damage with this pack factory, so uh, why not? Village four to zero, right? Boosting even further these uh, primary towers. And uh, next, uh, I'm gonna. Um, so next key round to survive is gonna be round sixty three. And therefore, I'm gonna place again the second spy factory up here. But in this case, I'm gonna place it closer to the bottom so that it's in range of this village, right? At least so that uh, it can it can have the extra benefits of having the extra attack speed, especially. Uh, and I'm gonna right away get this uh, spike factory uh, three to zero. 
Round 55 there, even with Taxon, you can see that the double amount of ceramics, uh, you know, those balloons can push forward, so you're gonna need some extra... You're gonna need to either use some abilities or to get this Spike Factory upgraded. Uh, it's just up to you which of the two uh, ways uh, to use. Alright, and also getting this other uh, Spike Factory, 320. Why not? And yeah, at this stage is where I start going very fast. As I said before, only round 63, uh, you're gonna need something... Um, you're gonna need to use the abilities, like 100%. And so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just uh, wait that round. Even if in round 60, the BFP is gonna come out, but uh, uh, yeah, it's gonna be easy. And at this stage is where, uh, if you have any uh, monkeys left in your crew, that's when you can place them. Like for example here, as I said before, you don't need to do this, but like you can place your third boomerang if you have it. Like right there, you can maybe get a more press, or I don't know, you can get something. And, uh, and you don't need to worry about your abilities, because you can see, even if some balloons can sneak past, you have the spike factory, so you can rest easy that you're gonna be able to pop those few balloons. Okay, so next round is round 63, so for the for round 63 you're gonna need to use a very specific strategy. Because as I said before, Tag Zone is in a very bad spot, so uh, what you're gonna need to use is Tubo Charge for the first Ceramic Rush. Right? You really need to destroy it so that you can stack more spikes. Then for the second rush, you need to use Quincy level 10, All right? so right there. And now you should have enough spikes that uh, just by using Quincy level 3 against this last Ceramic Crush, uh, you can have with the spikes, you can pop all the rest of the balloons, right? Just like that. So um, so yeah, that's the, that's the way I was able to find to beat round uh, 63. And uh, as, I did, as I said before, it's the only round where you're gonna need to use all the abilities in a very specific you know, order so that you can stack more Raspects. Um, and, uh, yeah, but as I said before, see how, how many thousands I have, so I, I could be placing, like, more towers here just to survive round 63 to do more damage. But as I said before, it's not needed. Um, so, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. And again, here round 65, double balloons. So you could see there are four mobs and then here two BFPs. And also, round 70 is pretty easy. I think you only have uh, some mobs and then like some uh, ceramics. So it's a pretty easy round. Even if the balloons are gonna be doubled, you should be able to, to make it without using any abilities. And, and yeah, so that's, uh, that's the strategy for this map. Uh, in my opinion, this is the hardest uh, map in the, you know, in this uh, week's Odyssey. So that's why I wanted to show you a detailed strategy on how to beat it. Of course, you're gonna need, as I said at the beginning, you're gonna need a specific setup, like a specific crew. Unless you have the crew uh, I've showed you, uh, you will not be able to, to beat it with this strategy. You might need to use either monkey knowledge or um, you know, continuous, or maybe to use another strategy to survive. But, uh, but yeah, so these are the last two rounds and that's gonna be it. So hope you guys enjoyed and see ya, bye bye.